Society symbol and explains what it is the scoreboard. Now let's see how you score points at this game. We have the knights for King Arthur Garant, K, Lamric, Bedivere, Tristan, Percival, Bors, Gareth, Gawain, Galahad, Sir. Lancelot, and lastly, King Arthur. And if you look on the right side, as you go up in knights, your point total will increase. Okay? And it gets up to the winner. Now let's look at how you lose points and something that not many people would like to do. You have your elements, earth, water, wind, and fire. You have planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Venus, Neptune, Mars, and Pluto. Pluto, which is the last planet, has the KO symbol or knockout, which means the game would be over if a player reaches knockout before someone was to reach King Arthur for winner. Right. Again, as each planet is listed as you descend, so do your point totals. Your point totals begin to go lower and those are signifying negative points. And this, as the game is being played, when the referee calls a point for and one of the elements or a point loss, we'll start announcing the names. So the official will say, Oh no. So that's Sir Garain. Fire down. Jupiter. Earth up. Sir K. Water down. Jupiter. Earth up. Earth. Sir Benvere. Wind down. Wind. Saturn. Uh, wind. Jupiter. Earth up. Sir Tristan, Earth. Fire down. Fire. Saturn. Earth up. Sir Percival. Water down. Saturn. Water. Earth up. Earth. Sir Percival. Wind down. Wind, Saturn, Earth up, Sir Bors, Fire down, Fire, Venus, Earth up, Earth, Sir Gawain, Water down, Water, Venus, Earth up, Earth, 
So go in. Wind da. Wind Venus. Earth up. So Galahad. Fire down. Fire down. Neptune. Earth up. Sir Lancelot. Water down. Neptune. Earth up. King Arthur. Fire down. Fire down. Mars. Okay. In this scoring alignment, Earth has come up to King Arthur. Earth is the winner of this game. The loser is fire, which is down at Mars because there's negative five points. Because there's three games in each match, or yeah, in three match, three games in each match, you take the accumulative score. So in this first game, Earth is the winner, but the other two games to follow, Earth may not win. So subsequently, Earth may not win the match. So it just depends on how uh, the rest of the game plays out. Okay, now we discovered what singles play is involving Earth, Water, Wind, and Fire individually. Now let's talk teams. Team A would comprise of Earth and Wind, and Team B would be Water and Fire. This game starts again with Earth being the server. Earth serves over to Wind. At that point, Wind can volley back to Earth, or Wind can go to Water and Fire. And we still use the same scoring method as if we were playing singles play. For example, if Earth and Wind were to score a point, Earth would move up to serve the ring, and we're only going to use Earth as the primary scoring slot and Water as the primary scoring slot. And Water would be down. And this would go the same way as the singles play. Again, Earth would be playing and covered with Wind. Water would be playing with Fire. And the game moves along. Water and Fire began to score. They will move up, and Earth and Wind goes down. And you move up until you get a winner, or you go down until you get someone at Pluto for the knockout. And it's the same exact way scoring as you have singles with doubles. Okay, let's go with some simulated scoring play. For example, Earth and Wind are playing together as Team A and Water and Fire are together. The official calls. Earth up. Earth up. Serve the rank. Water down. Water down. Jupiter. Earth up. Earth up. Let's serve K. Water down. Water down. That's Jupiter. Uh, Saturn. Water up. Water up. Jupiter. Earth down. Serve the rain. Earth up. Serve K. Water down. Saturn again. Earth up. Serve Lambrick. Water down. Venus. Earth up. Serve Bear. 